so welcome students so students now that we have just uh, gone through the programs and now you know how to develop the programs how to use the for loop while loop but it is also very important that as a beginner you should be also be concerned with the flow charts in fact there is something more that is called as algorithms and how to design the algorithms i'm going to teach you that as well but uh, you know today we are going to develop the flow chart and uh, be concerned about it that uh, for your exams we have uh, till the loops that is the for loop and the while loop and break and continue okay so whatever we have started till now that is till the loops okay so hope i am very much clear i have uploaded all the syllabus in the app you can check it so let's quickly today design the flow chart for this particular pattern and it's a very very simple pattern very simple logic that we need to have to come up with this pattern uh, that is just a character that is the accurate character the star character that we need to print so without wasting any time i'm going to design it so let me have the symbol that is the start but yes there is something called as the nested loop that we need to use in fact uh, in python we can do this without the nested loop but uh, I'm going to make use of nested loop so that uh, the concept should be very much clear. So I'm going to say this edit and uh, something like start. And uh, now that we have started, so well, now that we have started the flow chart, let me just have, okay, insert and uh, where's my symbol? Okay, so that's start and let me just increase the size of this like this. Hope this is very much, uh, you know, you are able to view this. Otherwise, I'm just going to make this a bit. Okay, this is 100%. Okay, so start and then what we need is we are going to accept a number from the user or let us assume that or let us take it from the user okay so we will read and we need the symbol uh, that is this one over here and let me just make this a bit smaller and then i'm going to say that is insert text read n so if it is n is 5 so it is going to generate a pattern it is going to generate a pattern till 5 so that is 1 2 3 4 5 if n is 5 it is going to generate a pattern till 5 okay if this if n is 6 so there will be one more you know uh, one more row so this is like one star two star three four and five stars so five stars at the end and five rows as well so if this would have been six so this would have been one star two three four five and then the six accurate signs okay the star character okay so now that i have read the characters then what i'm going to do is i need a condition so let me just get the condition now that is the diamond box that is this one and let me attach it over here and uh, the condition that i'm going to put is uh, i less than equal to n okay and uh, so i require i so i'm going to have one more box that is uh, a rectangle and over here i'm going to say that is uh, i let me take j okay j and k and uh, it is going to be one so if if j is less than n what is the value of j right now the value of j right now is one and what is the value of n assume that n is five so is j less than equal to n 
the value of j is 1 and is 5 yes the condition is true so if the condition is true so what we are going to do is we are going to start one more loop okay so this is first loop that we started and then inside this i'm going to just you know copy and paste and uh, just to adjust the you know the place i'm going to copy this and commit come this side of the page of the screen okay copy paste and uh, let me just make this as rotate it okay bring it over here so this is actually going to start one more loop okay so i sorry j is 1 so j is less than equal to n the condition is true so this is yes part and the no part will go down okay and then inside this i require one more variable k is equal to 1 and i'm going to say k less than equal to j this is what i'm going to say okay and then if this condition is true so let me have the text that is this one and this is or you can say true place it over here and this is also true if this is true then I copy this okay then what I'm going to do is I'm going to print what I'm going to print I'm going to print this character that is the accurate character the star character so I'm going to go insert and for, okay I have this so for printing and reading we have this symbol and I can simply say print and the character okay and the double quotes I have given okay just like that is a character and uh, then from here what I need to do is I need this and just I'm going to rotate this up and and go up copy this the operation table the operation symbol and i'm going to increment k is equal to k plus one that's what i'm going to do okay after incrementing again i'm going to copy this and uh, okay place it over here and then again i'm going to copy this and i'm going to turn this that is this way and place it over here and now I'm going to pull this till here and uh, copy this and turn this down place it over here pull it over here okay this does not actually came up like a perfect symbol just a minute I'm going to place it first here then pull it up and then I'm going to adjust this okay so okay so that's this is a loop innermost loop okay the innermost loop this is innermost loop this is an innermost loop okay and then what we need to do is then what we need this is the innermost loop and uh, so initially k is also one j is also one the condition is true so goes inside prints one accurate character and after printing okay uh, we are going to assume that it is coming to the next line or else we can have one more operation box and say print ln okay but let us just assume that it is coming to the next line so it is going to print and it is going to the next line then k is equal to k plus one now the value of k has become two so is 2 less than equal to j what is the value of j j is 1 only the condition is false so if the condition is false what we need to do is i'm going to come at the bottom pull it up okay and uh, then copy this and make the value of k again 1 that is very very important and I will make the value of k as 1 
and I'm going to increment i is equal to i plus 1. Sorry, that is j is equal to j plus 1. This is very important. So two operations. I will assign again the value of, uh, you know, the k will be again 1 and j I'm incrementing by 1. And from here, then I'm going to take it to this one. Copy this, paste it. Okay. And... Uh, Copy this. Okay. So this is innermost loop and this is the outermost loop. Now I really want that you should implement this in uh, Python. Okay. So how are you are going to do that? Okay. Use this logic and uh, so j is going to get incremented it will be two okay everything's good then again k is one and then k gets incremented okay so this is the logic ch children and uh, so this was the true part if it is true goes here okay and if it is false goes at the bottom for false goes at the bottom and from here if it is false come over here and uh, over here I will simply say copy paste and this is going to be my stop okay so uh, if this was false then i need to copy this okay so this is so if it is false goes bottom if it is true goes this side at the right hand side so this is for the true this is for the false okay this is again true this goes this way so this basically this goes this way if condition is true comes here if condition is true goes here takes a loop but if the condition goes false goes at the bottom again goes the outermost loop condition true again goes inside okay so this is how this is working actually now i really want that you should go ahead and uh, practice this okay i'm going to keep uh, the video short for today but i'm leaving you with this activity that uh, you have to you know implement the python program for this okay and uh, uh, just in case if you're confused how to come to the next line so you need to have this print okay you going to do that not here uh, let me have that okay i will going to have the statement and place it over here and this is going to solve the problem this is i will simply say slash n okay slash n so which means next line that i'm going to give it in small case okay slash n so this is okay where i'm doing this i'm doing this in the outermost loop and not inside the loop okay so please study this now okay please study this very carefully and see what all things are done and then implement the python program to come up with this particular logic with uh, this particular output okay so I'm keeping this uh, uh, video short for today. Implement this and try it and see to it. That's it for today. Bye for now.